Hey, I need to answer my assignment. Can you please help me? May I see it? I don't know this one yet. Me too, but I know someone that can help us. The who? I was at the head of the basic What? Just follow me. Hi! Hello! Good day! We heard that you need us for assignment. May we see it? Yes, sure. Here it is. <laughs> Let us help you. Let's review first. What is the definition of removable, jump, and infinite discontinuity. A removable discontinuity is a point on the graph that is undefined or does not fit the rest of the graph. There is a gap at that location when you are looking at the graph. Jump discontinuity is a classification or type of a discontinuities in which the function jumps or steps from one point to another along the curve of the function. Often splitting the curve into two separate sections, while continuous functions are often used within mathematics, not all functions are continuous. An infinite discontinuity is when the function spikes up to infinity at a certain point from both sides. Algebraically, we can tell this because the limit equals either positive infinity or negative infinity. The limit of f of x is equal to positive negative infinity as x approaches to a. And here are the discontinuities illustrated as the graph. First, for item number 6, h of x is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3 all over 2x squared plus x minus 3 if x is equal to 1. We just have to substitute 1 for each x. So h of 1 is equal to 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 3 all over 2 times 1 squared plus 1 minus 3. 1 squared is equal to 1, 2 times 1 is equal to 1, then we just copy the negative 3, or minus 3, and then we have to square it first before multiplying it to 2, so 1 squared is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, then copy 1 minus 3, and we will end up with 1 plus 2 minus 3 all over 2 plus 1 minus 3. We just have to evaluate it and the result will be 0 over 0. Therefore, h of 1 is 0 over 0 and it's indeterminate. Since the value of h of x is indeterminate, we can redefine it by getting the factor of the function. The factor of x squared plus 2x minus 3 is the quantity of x plus 3 times the quantity of x minus 1. And the factor of 2x squared plus x minus 3 is the quantity of 2x plus 3 times the quantity of x minus 1. Let's start redefining it. The quantity of x plus 3 times the quantity of x minus 1 over the quantity of 2x plus 3 times the quantity of x minus 1. Let's cancel the quantity of x minus 1 and we will be left with x plus 3 over 2x plus 3. And again, let's substitute the 1 for each x. So 1 plus 3 over 2 times 1 plus 3. This equates to 4 over 5. So the defined function is a piecewise, where h of x is equals to x squared plus 2x minus 3 all over 2x squared plus x minus 3 if x is not equals to 1, and 4 over 5 if x is equals to 1. Our conclusion is this function is a removable discontinuity since the value is indeterminate and can be redefined. 
For item number 7, y is equal to 3 raised to 1 over x if x is equal to 0. We will be substituting 0 for each x, so it will be y is equal to 3 raised to 1 over 0, which is undefined. We will proceed to creating a table. The limit of y is equal to 3 raised to 1 over x as x approaches to 0 from the left. Our value of x will be negative 1, negative 0 0.5, negative 0 0.9, negative 0 0.99, and negative 0 0.999. Again, we will substitute the value of x to our function. For negative 1, we will get 0 0.33. For negative 0 0.5, we'll have 0 0.11. For negative 0 0.9, we will have 0 0.295. Next is 0 0.330 and 0 0.332. So the limit of y is equals to 3 raised to 1 over x as x approaches to 0 from the left is equals to 0. Now, we will get the other side. The limit of y is equals to 3 raised to 1 over x as x approaches to 0 from the right. Our value of x will be 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, and 0 0.001. Let's substitute the value of each x or function. So for 1, we'll have 3. For 0 0.5, we'll get 9. For 0 0.1, we'll have 59,049. For 0 0.01, we will be getting 5.1537 times 10 raised to 48. And for 0 0.001, we'll have 1.322 times 10 raised to 177. So the limit of y is equals to 3 raised to 1 over x as x approaches to 0 from the right is equals to infinity. Therefore, this function is an infinite discontinuity. And for item number 8, f of x is equal to x plus 4, x is greater than 3, and x squared, x is less than or equals to 3, if x is equal to 3. And for item number 8, f of x is equal to x plus 4 as x greater than 3, and x squared as x less than or, or equal to 3, if x is equal to 3. Since our x is equal to 3, then it satisfies on the f of x is equal to x squared if x is less than or equal to 3. So let's substitute 3 for each x in the function. f of 3 is equal to 3 squared. Our f of x will be equal to 9. Let us proceed now on making a table. The function that we will use on the left side will be f of x is equal to x squared. Since the given restriction is x less than or, or equal to 3, so the left side will be the limit of f of x as x approaches to 3 on the left side. Our x will be 2, 2.5, 2.8, 2.9, and 2.99. For 2, we will get 4. For 2.5, we will have 6.25. For 2.8, we will have 7.84. For 2.9, we will have 8.421. For 2.99, we will get 8.4901. The limit of f of x as x approaches to 3 on the left side is equal to 9. Let's proceed on our right side. The function we will use for this will be x plus 4 because the restriction is x greater than 3. So our right side will be the limit of f of x as x approaches to 3 on the right side. Our x will be for 3.5, 3.3, 3.1, and 3.01. For 4, we will get 8. For 3.5, we will get 7.5. For 3.3, we will get 7.3. For 3.1, we will have 7.1. And for 3.01, we will have 7.01. The limit of f of x as x approaches to 3 on the right side is equal to 7. Since the limit of f of x as x approaches to 3 on the left side and the limit of f of x 
as x approaches to 3 on the right side is not equal. Therefore, this function is a jump, a jump discontinuity. For item number 9, y is equal to second of x plus pi over t if x is equal to pi over 6. As usual, we will substitute pi over 6 for each x, so it will be y is equal to the second of pi over 6 plus pi over 3. We will get the LCD which is 6. We will keep the pi over 6. So 6 divided by 3 is 2 times the pi, so it will be 2 pi. So we will get pi plus 2 pi over 6. We'll add them and we will get 3 pi over 6. To simplify it, we will get pi over 2. By using trigonometric values or the unit circle, the second of pi over 2 is equals to 1 over 0 which is undefined. We will proceed to making a table. The limit of f of x is equals to infinity as x approaches to pi over 6 from the left. For our x, we have 0, 0 0.3, and 0 0.4. For 0, we will get 0 0.9. For 0 0.3, we will also get 0 0.9. And for 0.4, we will also get 0.9. So it's leading to infinity. For the right side, the limit of f of x is equal to infinity as x approaches to pi over 6 from the right. For the value of x, we have 1, 0.8, and 0.6. For 1, we will get 1.3. For 0.8, we will have 1.2. And for 0.6, we will have 1. Since both limits are infinity, then we can conclude that the function is an infinite discontinuity. Last, for item number 10, g of x is equal to cotangent of x minus 2 pi over 3 if x is equal to 2 pi over 3. We will first substitute 2 pi over 3 to our x in the function. So it will be g of 2 pi over 3 is equal to cotangent of 2 pi over 3 minus 2 pi over 3. If we subtract them, we will get 0. By using trigonometric values, cotangent 0 is equal to 1 over 0, which is undefined. We will proceed to a table now. The limit of f of x is equal to negative infinity as x approaches 2 pi over 3 from the left. For the value of our x, we have 1, 1 1.5, and 2. For 1, we will get negative 0.02. For 1.5, we will get negative 0.01, and for 2, we will get negative 0.001. After the left side, let's proceed to the right side. The limit of f of x is equals to positive infinity as x approaches to 2 pi over 3 from the right. For x, we have 3, 2.5, and 2.1. For 3, we will get 0 0.015. For 2.5, we will have 0 0.001 and for 2.1 we will get 9.8 since both limits are infinite we can conclude that this function is an example of infinite discontinuity <laughs>